This program is presented by University of California Television. Like what you learn? Visit our website or follow us on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest UCTV programs. Recovery of the oak chaparral is one of the big signs of habitat recovery across the Channel Islands. The island scrub jays, uh, Aphylacoma insularis, may be catalyzing that recovery. They are different from the mainland cousins in the fact that they are larger in size, uh, more mass, and they're also more dramatic in their color patterns. So the blacks are darker, the blues are more intense. In the 40 years that this island has been part of the UC Reserve System. We've seen it uh, go through many changes in the ecological processes out here. Uh, the, the disturbance by non-native vertebrates was slowly removed and since then we've witnessed this amazing recovery of the ecosystem. Right now I'm studying a process that may have been crucial to that regeneration. A seed dispersal process which brings one of the main vegetation players back to where it used to be. There's a big interest in what the jays do with the acorns and how their habitat preferences when hiding seeds affect the distribution of oaks in the future, it's how far a jay is willing to go with an acorn affect the distribution of oaks. Like most corvids, they scatter hoard seeds. So they like to take seeds from a tree, fly with them and hide them in the ground, which serves as food storage for times of food scarcity. And it's kind of a trick how the trees get their seeds out into the landscape. They hide up to five, 6,000 seeds per season. And when the winter isn't that bad or an animal forgets some of the seeds, the acorns that stay in the ground are effectively dispersed. There are several advantages to a place like Santa Cruz Island to a reserve. The island provides us with a simplified dispersal system so that many other players in the mainland system are absent here. So we don't have squirrels. We don't have other scatter hoarding corvids. We are provided with the infrastructure that allows us to access these places. And so we need housing, we need places to store our equipment. I'm just incredibly thankful that this resource is being conserved and, and valued for what it is.